programs. And what we're going to do is we're going to take, and as you can see, there's a need for sidewalks in some areas. There's uh, the sidewalks that are here need to be uh, improved, uh, broken down, and built again. We're going to use uh, community development block grant funds, uh, federal funds. In a, we already do that in some areas of the city. We're little by little going through some of the older sidewalks, taking them out. Our public works department takes them out, replaces them with a newer sidewalk, makes it safer for pedestrian travel. And uh, that's what we're going to do on this block, because this block needs it as well. And uh, as I was mentioning earlier, it's really an exciting time. I'm really happy to be part of this project, because there are going to be many facets that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at improving the housing, rental housing that's down here. This is primarily uh, rental housing. There's no owner occupied along the block here. Secondly, we're going to be, the police department's going to be ridding the area of a drug problem. Uh, we're going to be improving the streets and the, the sidewalks. And uh, all around, I think everybody is going to win. I, I know the city, total upgrading, right? And it's, it's a question of a situation where the people know there's been that problem here before. Uh, the police department's aware of a problem that's here. And I think working together uh, with community development, the police, uh, fire department, community services, and the citizens, and the people who own the property here, all together, we're going to rid it of this little menace that's going on, this cocaine problem, which seems to spark a lot of the problems that are on this block. How is your department, how are you specifically and your department involved differently now than you've been in the past? How operate Well, as a member of the uh, uh, problem-oriented policing uh, committee, uh, we specifically get together and talk about what we can contribute from our division, our department, in, a, in any particular given problem like Montana here. Um, specifically, I guess you could say that my job has changed on Montana because this was not one of our slated blocks for a new sidewalk program. We have uh, a progressive grid that we're working on. Once we get done with the block, we move north or east or west from that area to keep in continuity with the blocks. But there's a need here. We've established that need. And that's why they've moved me to focus on Montana with the sidewalk. It's a challenge. Yeah, it's a challenge. And uh, it's, it's great to be part of this, the program that's going to make this a nicer block. And I think this is uh, a benefit for the whole city. And uh, it puts everyone on notice that the city of Monrovia is not going to stand for substandard conditions. And I think that puts a little pride back in the neighborhood. And it makes the people who live here feel they're not alone in this. Uh, you know, they look out their window, they see uh, a drug deal, they uh, try to use their faucets, they don't work, uh, it's dark on the street, they try to walk on the sidewalk and it's not a good sidewalk or there's no sidewalk at all. That, that loneliness, that isolation feeling, I can understand how many people would feel, I can't get any help. So when we get to work on these problems and we correct these problems, with their help, they're not going to be alone. They're going to be part of this community and feel like part of this community and take pride in this community, just like the rest of us do. Exactly. Everything, all the facets here, the, the homes that they live in, that these uh, uh, property owners need to make sure that they take care of, the renters need to make sure that they take pride in the property, uh, the streets need to be taken care of and maintained, and we do our part there. This is, uh, this is an upgrade in this particular sidewalk program that I'm talking about. We'll be doing something to upgrade because uh, we have some good sidewalk here that's there and some improvements with this new project that was done. Uh, this is the only uh, street light on the, on the block. It was required because when the plans went through our community development department, they required that this off-site improvement be done. Okay, these are other older projects and those are requirements weren't there at the time. And we're going to come back and try to make some of these corrections now to make this a nicer looking block. You were telling me earlier that you feel this is a very progressive project in Southern California. I think we're on the cutting edge, yes. Uh, problem oriented policing, from the chief's point of view, and I've, I've heard him say a number of times, is uh, taking a look at the, the problem and seeing that there's more than just a criminal action here. It's a social problem, it's a, uh, a conditions, an environmental problem. And I think that's clearly evident on this block, that uh, the fact that the, the hot water and the cold water don't work, that the, the, the sinks are blocked, 
that the, you know, the sewage isn't running through and out the, into the sewer like it's supposed to. The streets are dark. There's drug activity. Uh, we're talking a multifaceted problem, and it has to be attacked with a group of people who have varied backgrounds. And again, that's, I haven't heard of anything in Southern California, California, throughout the United States that is quite like our problem-oriented policing group. It is uh, quite new, quite exciting, and uh, we're making a different approach, and it's making uh, an impact. It's already made quite an impact in several neighborhoods, and this is one where we want to make an impact, and we want to do a good job, and we want to make everyone happy. And, we, and, not, and not walk away from it until we're done. And that is the key, is it? Not until this is a well-run, well-operated, uh, clean, healthy living environment for the people who live here. Not then do we set our sights. Until then, it's a down the block or another place in town. And it's important that we don't leave until that's, until that's done.